Hi, welcome to Seymour's World at Think Tech Hawaii. What a show we're going to have today. Today I have some wonderful guests. And the reason I wanted to do this show, because if you have been following me and Seymour's World, you know that like every other pseudo-athlete who thinks he knows everything and can do anything that he wants, I have reached a certain age, which is in the 70-plus range, where uh, I'm playing tennis and golf every day and exercising a lot. And I get a lot of pains and a lot of aches. And everybody keeps asking me, what is the best way to get over all this stuff? Because they see me coming. I had both my knees replaced. I've had hamstring tears. I've had back issues, etc. So I have two guests here today in which we are going to talk about joint pain. And we're going to talk about the physical therapy, the elixir for joint pain. Because I honestly believe that our guests are going to open your eyes as to how important it is to do certain things, like stretching, for instance, like doing certain exercises before you get hurt and after you get hurt. So without further ado, I want to introduce Raina Hawkins. Hi, Raina. Hi, Seymour. Thank you for joining me. Raina, this little 100-pound uh, woman, is able to give me pain, and she has <laughs> given me pain over all the years that I have have been a patient of hers. Raina owns Oahu Physical Therapy, correct? Yeah, East Oahu Physical Therapy. East Oahu yeah. Physical Therapy, sorry. That's okay. And uh, you have worked on me for about 10 years, yeah. and the first time I met you was after my knee surgery, correct. right? Yeah. And you uh, got me playing golf in a matter of 30 days, which is much faster than my orthopedic surgeon said I was going to play, and I was playing tennis in 60 days. So we're going to talk about how you did that okay. and how you're able to manipulate an old body like mine into being a guy who thinks he's 40 or 50 years old when he's on the tennis court. Okay? Okay. Next, we're also going to invite all the way from Florida, we're going to invite a very good friend of mine, Chris Kadowski. Chris, are you live from Florida? Can we get you on the screen? Hi, Chris. How are you? I'm very good, Seymour. How are you doing, Raina? I'm good. How about you? Good, good. Great well, to be Chris, here. Uh, just to give you a, a slight introduction, and I'll let them talk about themselves a little bit. Chris is a um, physical trainer for uh, superior athletes. He's worked with uh, football players, professional football players, uh, MMA guys. He'll talk about all that once we get into it. Uh, but more important, Chris helped me in the... Uh, a certain situation in Florida when I had a major accident and I had a hamstring tear. So we're going to talk about what Chris did that was able to move me from a 8 to 10 week prognosis before I could play again to 2 to 3 weeks. And as we get into it, you will understand why Chris has now written books and is actually world famous, uh, giving lectures all over about uh, his ideas of physical training and joint relief. So first, Raina, we're going to start with you. Okay. Tell us a little bit about your practice. Um, well, we've got four physical therapists, and we're all licensed PTs, so we don't use aids or assistance, and two massage therapists. And all of us are pretty much trained in Pilates, myofascial decompression, which is the cupping, um, kinesio tape, and a number of manual therapy techniques. And I've had most of that. Yes, probably all of that. <laughs> probably yeah. all of that. Including, I remember when I was um, when I was recovering from my double knee surgery, you had me in the hallway with bands around my feet, right. running up and down the hallway and, and doing all that stuff, sweating. <laughs> make you sweat, yeah. And you had that smile on your face. Love that it. Smile, you loved it. You loved it. <laughs> I knew you were going to get out there sooner than you're supposed to, so. Yeah, yeah. and I did, thanks yes. to you. So tell me a little bit about your theory. Your theory is that if a patient comes in to see you do, you, do you do what the orthopedic surgeon says, or do you have your own protocol? Well, of course, we follow the general protocol of their surgery because, you know, they have pretty general guidelines. Like at w one month, you're supposed to be doing this, two months. But, of course, I pushed you because I knew you could handle it, but within safe guidelines. So first you need to get full range of motion, right? So some people just have you stretch, but of course, I do a lot of manual because if I don't do that, it's going to take a lot longer. So we do a lot of massage, fascial stretching, fascial release, stuff like that. 
push a lot of the swelling out because a lot of times you don't have full range of motion because there's so much swelling in the joint. So that's your biggest factor. And once that's all gone, then strengthen you within your protocol. So can people come to East Oahu, East Oahu Physical Therapy by themselves or must they be referred? If they come by themselves, they have to pay cash. If they come with a referral, then their insurance covers pretty much 90% of it. And that's what you, is that where, how, how your business is built? Primarily, we do get a bunch of cash patients, though. Because I find every time I come to see you, even for when something hurts and I just need you to do something to alleviate the pain, there's a lot of people there. You have a tremendous amount well, of patients. Well, we see one-on-one, -on -one, though. So we see one patient to one therapist the whole hour. But we are, there are four of us, so usually four of us and four patients. Yeah. So we're going to go, we have a lot of pictures because we don't have a table here and you guys can't see her working on me. Uh, it's, it's truly amazing if any of you have any joint pain here in Honolulu or you feel that something hurts or you're not sure, either, and if you don't want to go to your doctor, make an appointment with Raina because uh, I, I can only tell you after 10 years of working with this young lady, I run faster. And you know, I'm not exactly on my uh, even weight scale. I should lose a few pounds, but I'm still able to move well. And it's thanks to you, Raina. So I'm very happy that you do that. You're welcome, but you work hard. So a lot of it is you guys. You know, we do half of it, the manual portion, and then give you things that are within your guidelines and to keep you safe, but to get you stronger. And then it's up to you guys to do to actually do it at home, too. I will never forget when I, you, you put me on the bike Right after surgery, I think it was like a week after my knee surgery, and it was a full knee, full knee replacement for, for my legs, and you put me on the bike, and you said, pedal backwards, I think, mm -hmm. first, and I said, why does she want me to pedal backwards? And then I pedal forwards, and I realized I couldn't do it. Right. I needed it's to, easier. To much pedal easier to pedal yeah. backwards, and I was at able first. to do whatever you asked in a short period of time, and then it worked, which is terrific. So let's look at the first two, if we can. There's two videos that were, oh! That is me. I think there's two videos first. Let's see if we can bring those up. Chris, the other one is yours. We're coming to you in a second. Okay. So what is that first video? We saw that so, stretching motion. What so that, that first video is a, a professional. She's not. She's a sponsored surfer, so she's a competitive surfer. She's only like 11 years old. Oh my she God. had a spinal fracture from water skiing and holding on with one hand and just all that compression coming down. So we rehabbed her so she could compete again. So she, we're just rehabbing her core and then adding some strengthening for her arms because she needs By to be able to those. paddle. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the second one. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You're okay? Mm -hmm. Little prickly hairs. What was that one right now? So that's Tara. She's one of our therapists, and she's just doing a, a manual glide on your spine. So your spine moves in certain directions. So when you side bend, you know, your joint's supposed to come down, and his is not. So she's just manually gliding it in a normal motion mm -hmm. that it would, but it is not doing by itself. So, Raina, if somebody has a, a stiff neck or they're, you know, they're always doing this, which I happen to do quite a bit, should they come to see you? Can you help them? I mean, we should be, yeah. It could be muscle, joint, it could be a number of things. Right? And you're able to interpret it as, and, and uh, put a treatment plan together for them to get rid of that? Yes, yeah, so we do an evaluation to kind of narrow it down to whether, is it the joint that's not moving correctly? Is it a disc that's in the way? Is it muscle? Is it fascia? Things like that. And then we narrow it down and then create a plan for you with manual therapy and then exercise that you do with us and then at home. You know, everybody is watching and listening, and they say, this girl is an expert. You're terrific. Absolutely Thanks, terrific. All right, let's go to the next one, which is actually a picture of my hamstring. And Chris, we're going to bring you in on this one. Uh, uh, we're showing the back of my leg where I tore my hamstring, which was completely full of swelling and edema. Chris, how did you treat this? Well, one of the biggest ideologies that uh, I've kind of uncovered while I've been helping people with muscular injuries is that human beings are machines, but we are a little bit more like a web as well. Okay, so I'm going to use a quick example like a car. Say your carburetor, your water pump breaks in your car. You can take it to the maintenance person and they can fix your water pump and then all of a sudden the rest of your car works. So the problem was the water pump, 
okay? Now, when we look at you and your hamstring here, anybody would look at your hamstring and say the problem here is the hamstring. But because human beings are a biological system, they're a web of seemingly unrelated parts, but they are still related in some fashion. It is actually your glute that was creating the problem for the hamstring. So the hamstring was the symptom. The hamstring was why you were break or was not why you were breaking down. The glute was why you were breaking your breaking down. Now you hold on here for one cheek, second. In other words, okay, hold on. We're going to move to a second slide, which I believe you are now working on my glute, and you can okay. see the swelling is all the way up to my rear end and all the way down to my knee, and you're rubbing my ass. And yeah. <laughs> you know anybody looking at this is going to say, "Why are you doing that?" Well, one of the main reasons is because our nerves that come out of our spine are going to travel underneath the, the glutes heels and then on down the leg. So if we cut those nerves off, if we choke them off at the gluteal, at your butt cheek, what's going to happen is we are going to have dysfunction at your hamstring. The nerve impulse that's going from your spine on down your leg is going to be somewhat muddled. It's not going to be a clear signal. So you told me that when this happened, you were reaching for a ball that you didn't think you should go get. So what you were doing is you were asking a little bit extra of your body. Your body sent that signal. It got cut off at your glute and your hamstring didn't pick it up very well. Got it. So all of a sudden, got it. what do we have? We have a little bit of an atom bomb go off in that hamstring. And it's your body's way of telling you there's something wrong. So, Chris, I, I, I think the audience should get the, you know, the background on this. So here I was playing with my brother, who's a physician, and we're playing in a tennis tournament, and this happens to me, and Mark says, uh-oh, uh, your, your, your hamstring just popped, and he said, you're going to need eight to ten weeks. And then you started working on me, and if we could move to the next slide, let's see if we, I think I have one more slide on that hamstring. No, we don't, okay. But uh, you started working on me, there it is, yes. You started working on me, and the swelling the next day was down by 50%. And then two and three and four days later, the swelling was almost had almost disappeared from my hamstring, went down my leg, and basically was leaving my body. And I was able to play tennis in three weeks. That was incredible. Absolutely incredible. Right. right. So we can think of, uh, I mean, we can think of your glute as like the Hoover Dam, right? It's backing everything up. It's delaying your healing. It's delaying your recovery. When we loosen up that gluteal, when we open up your butt cheek and the tissue is allowed to slide and the blood is allowed to flow, it can reach down into the depths of the hamstring a lot easier and help clear out that hematoma that you're experiencing, all the purples and the blues and the yellows and the oranges, all those colors in that hamstring. Your body was able to clear it out. And remember, I told you, I said, I want you to be as active as possible. We are uh, human beings are like sharks. If we stop moving, we die. So, if someone else were to look at your hamstring, they'd say, Oh, Seymour, you know, lay in bed for the next four weeks. Now, we know you're not going to do that. So, I would rather tell you go and do what you can do pain free and keep that blood flowing, keep everything moving. Okay. And one of the other things that we need to know is that our lymph system is going to be responsible for clearing out a lot of that metabolic garbage from your hamstring exploding. So our lymph system works best when there's vibration, whether we walk, whether we run, we can jump up and down on a trampoline, anything like that. So if you lay in bed, you're going to delay the healing. You're going to make that hematoma kind of pool. And what do stagnant what, what do stagnant lakes smell like? They, they smell like death, right? There's just not, not too much going on. So when we have that blood just pool, you're actually making your tissue much more unhealthy, and it's going to prolong your injury. I got it. And you know something? Our audience gets it, too. Now, Chris and Raina, we have to take a short break, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to talk about other specific cases. And, Chris, we haven't even gotten to your background yet, so we're going to talk about that as well. So, uh, as you could see, this is an amazing uh, uh, show that we have today that talks about physical injury and how to fix it. And unfortunately, I'm the guinea pig in all this, but uh, hopefully uh, in the second half of the show, we'll be able to see other cases besides myself. 
you are watching Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii. We'll be back in a minute. For a little tailgate. I usually drink, but won't be drinking today because I'm the designated driver, and that's okay. It's nice to be the guy that keeps his friends in line, keeps them from drinking too much so we can have a great time. A little responsibility can go a long way because it's all about having fun on game day. I'm the guy you want to be. I'm the guy saving money. I'm the guy with the H2O, and I'm the guy that says, Let's go. Hi, welcome back to Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii. I have two guests with me. I have Raina Hawkins here in Honolulu from East Oahu Physical Therapy. Did I say it right this yep. time? And I have Chris Kadowski all the way from Florida. So Chris, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, people want to know, I've had two questions already. People want to know, oh, what are you doing in Florida? Right now, I am running my own business in Florida called Influential Health Solutions. I am kind of like a rogue therapist, I guess you could say. I seek out the toughest cases, the toughest of the tough, the ones that where people have gone to the physical therapist, they've gone to the acupuncturists, the chiropractors, they've done their cupping, and they are either on the brink of two things, having surgery or living with the pain that they have for the rest of their life. So for me, I'm pretty much the end of the road when people come and see me. Now, okay. you work with professional athletes, don't you? Yes, yeah, I do. I've picked up uh, a generous portion of mixed martial artists as well down here. Guys like Robbie Lawler, Mike Chandler, and Logan Storley, they're all, they all were or are aspiring to be world champions in their division. I've been very, very fortunate with uh, the people that I've been able to work with and work for, definitely. And uh, I know you've worked with the, with the professional football players as well. And I think, yes. uh, uh, you know, working with me as the, your worst patient of all, uh, you have obviously done wonders for me over the years, so I appreciate that. We're going to come back to you in a minute, okay? Okay. Now, Raina, Absolutely. I, I want to know more about uh, different types of treatments that you do at, at uh, East Oahu Physical Therapy. So is it just joint pain, or do you do other things as well? Um, no, we do everything like nerve pain, joint pain, post-operative, um, elderly who have balance issues, things like that. Oh, really? Now, we've got a slide we want to bring up. Let's see this one, and you can tell us a little bit about it. Oh, that's Chris working on my hamstring. Chris, look, at uh, that was the, uh, the third day that you came up, and you could see how the swelling is down. Just amazing. But we're going to move to the next slide. What's this one? What am I doing here? So you're doing a side plank. So you're engaging your core, your glutes. And am I doing a good job? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty uh, straight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that I was yeah. doing a good job. And what was this for? The, the, the idea, this was my back issue, I think. So you were coming for your back, and then right. uh, we were treating you together. He was talking with us on the phone. I was mostly focusing on some fascial stuff from your IT band all the way down, and then also your facet joint at T12 area. And we had an issue, as you, as you people are looking at this, I had a back problem, and I went to my orthopedist, uh, Dr. Bob Atkinson, and he did an MRI, and he did a uh, x-ray, right. and he said, Seymour, you're getting old. And yeah. he said, there's nothing you could do about this. And I said, what do you mean? He said, you're going to have to suffer through all the pain. And I said, I beg your pardon? I, you know, this is really hard with my tennis, my golf, and everything else I do. And he said, well, you know, it's, uh, you've got, uh, what was it, L2, or I can't remember, whatever the number of the mm -hmm. disc was a problem. So I went to you first, and then I went to Chris Kodowski, mm -hmm. and I had the two of you together. I said, two is better than one. Right. And you were so agreeable to allow Chris to come in on a FaceTime or a Skype with us, and you guys, in, in a matter of two weeks, I was pain-free, totally pain-free, where normal physicians look at it and say, uh-oh, you're in trouble. So you guys did great. And that was part of the treatment was that plank, right? 
Right, part of your home exercise. Right, and then uh, you gave me other stuff too. And don't you, uh, I mean, I found that you said to me, I have to do exercise at home. Right. And Chris said the same thing. Chris, you said I have to do a lot of exercise at home to make sure Absolutely, that absolutely. It doesn't matter if I'm working on healthy. a 13-year-old ballet um, teenager or if I'm working with a, a professional athlete or you, I give everybody homework. It's absolutely imperative that somebody does something away from what I do because as soon as you get off my table, as soon as you walk out of my office, your body is already starting to undo what I undid. So you came in injured, I undid that, and then your body says, wait a minute, I don't like this, I wanna be the other way. And as soon as you start walking out to your car, your brain starts to remodel what I did. So when you go home and you start to beat that back down with your softball, with your lacrosse ball, you keep that joint open, you teach the tissue, you teach your brain, this is how I wanna be. And when you get to a certain point of health, your brain and your body says, oh, I remember this, and you stay there permanently. So if you're not doing that extra work, then it makes my job a lot harder, and you're going to recover a lot slower. It's amazing. Both of you are actually preaching the same thing, which is wonderful. And I, I really appreciate that you're able to convince the audience that uh, it is important not to just do the, you know, go to, for physical therapy and that's it. And then next week you come back. That's not the case. If you really want to, if you really want to help yourself, you have to do it. Of course, it, right? like joints need lubrication, right? So, like he said, if you don't use it, you lose it. You don't. Move and that's it. exactly yeah. what Chris is saying. Let's look at one of those other uh, shots that we have. I think Raina, this is one of yours coming up. What are you doing here? So that's a single limb bridge. So and, you did that for your home exercise, right? Mm -hmm. And that was for my back injury. Right? Um, also your core. So you're. You're trying to keep your hips level, not let your hip drop on the left side, because mm -hmm. you're using the right leg to keep your, mm -hmm. your butt up. So you're using your glutes, your hamstrings, your core. That was one of the hardest ones for me. Yeah. Really, very So that's difficult. one that Chris and I, you know, I totally agree with that exercise, and he also wanted you to have that too. Right, right. To strengthen cool. your glutes, yeah. And, and it helped, it really helped. What's the next one? Chris, this is yours. This is somebody lying down on your table uh, but uh, I don't know, you can't see the video, so let's move to another one and maybe we can describe it a little better. Oh, that's me. That's me water skiing. Yep, that's me. I was a little bit younger then, <laughs> but at the same time, uh, I was uh, not a competitive water skier, but a pretty good water skier, so that's, that's pretty cool. Next. Oh, now Chris, this is you with an MMA guy, I think. I, I, I yeah, and that's me with Robbie Lawler. With Robbie Lawler. And you worked on him, obviously. Yes. What was his issue? Can you tell us? Um, he had several. He had come to me a couple times with glute issues, pain rating down in his hamstring. And then he had come to me with a couple of issues of pain radiating down into his arm. We found that in his neck, and then uh, he came to me with a clicking in his left shoulder, and we ended up finding and clearing out a lot of junk in his shoulder blade for him. Wow, wow. And, the next and that one? was me in, in Las Vegas with him right after he won the world championship. Now, Chris, I just got a question. Uh, uh, somebody asked me, uh, where, where do they reach you? How, how, how do they uh, get a hold of you? They can reach me um, at Chris at Influential Health Solutions. Dot com. That's my email address. And then I don't know if you have show notes or anything like that. I can give people a link to my Facebook page, to my phone number. If you're in the uh, South Florida area, um, I'd be more than happy to come and help you out if you have problems. And it's Chris at? Influential Health Solutions. Influential Health Solutions dot com. Yes. All right. Terrific. Terrific. Now, do we have any more slides left, Bob? Oh, here you are with another guy. This is in the gym. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I don't know, Chris, if you can't see is it or he, not, there's a flag no, is behind he, is you. Is he bending over? He's bending over trying to touch his toes? No, no, no. It's a guy standing up next to you. I'm the only guy. Oh, my sorry. Age that's, touch okay, that's my, friend, that, that, that's my friend who is actually a Navy SEAL. So oh. I trained that gentleman to be a Navy SEAL actually from the big oh. island of Hawaii. Uh, no and that was, that's me and him on the amphibious base in San Diego. Are you still training Navy SEALs? Yes. Wow, cool. Next one. 
This is somebody on their back, but it's too hard for me to describe it. We'll go to one more. We, we don't have much time, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, this is somebody bending over, Chris. I think he's trying to touch his toes. All right, if you guys look at that picture, you're going to notice that there's a huge discrepancy from the left to the right-hand of side of his back. And this is what I try to help people understand is true health comes from true alignment. This gentleman here, he was 25 years old, had wow. unbelievable back pain. And as soon as I had him bend over, touch his toes, and took a picture, you can see how much more built up the left side of his back is than his right. right. Now, what ended up happening was he damaged his left knee, his meniscus, a couple years back, and he never got it rehabilitated. He just let it heal, went back to playing basketball, football, lifting weights and everything like that. And what his body did was it automatically rerouted the torque and the force production and his right leg took over. Wow. So he never, ever sent a signal to his brain saying that his left knee is no longer injured. So his body continued to operate as if the injury existed, even though he felt like it had healed. So one day, like I was saying earlier, you know, your glute was the problem. The hamstring was the symptom. It blew. This gentleman, his left knee was the problem. And now it was going up the chain and creating problems with his back. The kid was 25 years old. And I mean, he couldn't even pick up a wet pair of socks off the floor. Wow. It was that bad. Amazing. Okay. So that's one of my biggest preachings to any of my clients. True alignment equals true health. Well, so what we ended I, up doing is aligning that gentleman, and he's fine. Obviously, Chris and Rayner, you guys are professionals in what you do, and I really appreciate that um, you're able to help um, people, not just when they come in from surgeries, but able to help them through their daily lives, because you can change a person's life. If somebody is bent over and they can't uh, walk normally, you can change that. You can help them do that. And I think for both of you, I, I, I really want the audience to realize that this is not just after an injury. It's something that you want to do to learn how to, as you get older, as in me, uh, you, want to, uh, you, you want to understand how to take care of yourself. And I think they should, uh, people should realize that it's important to come and see a professional such as yourself to figure out how to, how to make sure that your body is in line. Do you agree with Chris when it comes to oh, alignment? Oh, definitely. We, I look at alignment first before anything else. Yeah, because like you said, you have to find the cause of the problem rather than the symptom. So. Well, thank you, Raina. Thank Thanks you, so Chris. Much, uh, you guys welcome. are terrific. You're really, really very helpful, and I know the audience is going to really start thinking about: uh, Should I stand straighter? What should I do? Am I in alignment or not? You can see Chris Kadowski in Florida. You can see Raina here in Honolulu. Uh, you guys were great. I just want to tell everybody that our next show is going to be on Christmas. And it's going to be a show with entertainers from our Make Him Smile program, a patient in the hospital who's going to talk about how they're spending their Christmas. So I hope you join us on the next Seymour's World. Thank you for watching. Aloha from Honolulu.